Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find the midpoint between two points. So, what do we have here? We have we have a ruler, and let's say I gave you two numbers. Let's say uh, three and seven. Three and seven. And I asked you, where is the midpoint? Let's say that uh, you have, you're standing here at three, and your friend, your best friend, is standing at seven, and you guys said, hey, let's meet in the middle because the midpoint is in the middle, uh, where would you guys end up? And so um, you would travel equal distances. You would go to the right, the other person would go to the left, and you would end up at five, right? So two inches uh, to the right, two inches to the left for your friend, and meet up at five. So that would be the midpoint between those two points when you are equidistant. You're not friends. If you if if you made your friend go all the way to you, that just means you're lazy. Or then if you went over here, then that means your friend's lazy. Like let's meet in the middle, unless it's a dangerous spot, then meet somewhere where it's not dangerous. So, uh, let me give you another example. Uh, how about uh, four and uh, eight? Four? No, let's do four and ten. Let's try four and ten. Okay, so four, ten, figure that out. Press pause. Where would you and your friends end up, or friend end up? Four and ten. Um, so one inch, another inch. Oh, you would end up at seven. Okay, and let's do one more. Uh, let's go five. Nah, let's do let's do two and. Um, nine two and nine two and nine and let's get a different color for two and nine so one person is standing at two another person is standing at nine and you want to meet somewhere in the middle where would you end up so one inch there and another inch there and another inch there and then halfway there and the ruler would be at five and a half so one one, one, half, we end up at five and a half. Now let's say this. Let's say I gave you some big numbers, like gigantic numbers like 13. That's, that's well, it's more than the ruler. And uh, let's say, and 57, how would you do that? Or something that's, I mean, the, the point is you don't want to carry a ruler everywhere trying to find the midpoint of two points. And if there were big numbers, you'd have a, gigantic ruler so let's do this how would you without using a ruler get five from three and seven the question is or how would you get seven from four and ten or five point five from two and nine well think about the word midpoint between two points you want to get something in the middle do you guys know uh, do, you, do you remember a word that's kind of you get some numbers that are high some numbers are low and something in the middle yeah, let's find the average of these two numbers. So 3 plus 7, and there are two numbers, so you would divide by 2. So 3 plus 7 is 10, divided by 2, ha, is 5. If we find the average of these two numbers, 4 and 10, divided by 2, uh, that would be 4 plus 10 is 14, divided by 2 is 7. It works out. 2 and 9 would be... 11 over 2, which would be 5.5. So all you're doing when you have two points and to get the midpoint, you find the average. So um, that's it. You find the average to get the midpoint. So let me give you an example with this right here. So find the midpoint of this line segment. And you're like, oh, but, but that's not a ruler. That's, that's a coordinate plane. And it's in two dimensions. There's an X and there's a Y. So it's like we have two rulers, but they're all. So how do you do this? How do I find the average? Well, let's use that same concept. So here's the midpoint formula. Yeah. Hopefully I know how to spell it. Midpoint formula. So we're going to take that same concept. We're going to average things. So we're going to take the x value of one endpoint and add the x value of the other endpoint and average it and we'll get the x value of the midpoint okay and then comma 
the y value of an endpoint, y value of the other endpoint, average it, and we'll get the y value of a midpoint. What? That is way more than we talked about in the, in the ruler example. What is, what's going on? Okay, so we have two rulers, if you want to think about it that way. Here's our first ruler. We add them, divide by two, we'll get to the midpoint, the x value of the midpoint. So let's label this. This right here, midpoints x value. This is the midpoints MP. Midpoints Y value. And then these right here. Endpoints. These two are the endpoints. Endpoints. The X values of the endpoints. And these are also endpoints. That's the y value of the first endpoint, the y value of the second endpoint. So, okay, so that's, that, you're like, what? That's, that doesn't, okay. So let's just do this example, and hopefully it'll make sense after doing this example. So we have an endpoint, we have an endpoint. Where is that midpoint? Where is that middle? What's that exact spot? So let's figure out what the location of this is. So what are the coordinates? So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. So this, the coordinates of this is uh, are negative four, negative five. Here's the x value, and here's the y value. And this one would be doesn't go left to right. So zero, one, two, three. So zero, three. Now we're going to plug this into our formula. So we're going to take the x values of the two endpoints. So here are the x values negative 4 plus 0 so negative 4 into here and then 0 into the here the other endpoints x value average it negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4 over 2 which is negative 2 and so that's this is our x value of our midpoint now we're going to do the same thing with the y values negative 5 plus 3 over 2, which is negative 2, over 2, which is negative 1. So here's our y value for the midpoint. So our final answer would be, now we're going to write this as a, as a pair, an ordered pair, would be negative 2, comma, negative 1. And so let's see if that makes sense on here. Does this even land on this line? So negative 2, 1, 2. And then down one, and that's a good sign. It lands on there, and this is negative two, negative one. So this is our midpoint. And just to, to make sure that really is our midpoint, let's draw a right triangle. If what we drew a right triangle from here, we'd go to the right two, one, two, three, four. So right two, up four. And to go here, if your friend was standing here, your friend would have to go down one, two, three, four to the left, two. So same distance. So we'd have to move horizontally two, vertically four. Uh, horizontally two, vertically four. So yeah, there you go. There is your midpoint at negative two, negative one. All right, so let me give you our second example. Find the midpoint of this segment. So let's find the coordinates, the addresses of these two points right here, these two endpoints. This one is at one, one, two, three, four, five. And this one is at four, five, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So five, negative four. So let me just double make sure. One, five, five, negative four. And we're going to plug all this stuff in into our midpoint formula. So we're going to take the two x values, average them, 1 plus 5 or 5 plus 1, whatever you want. And so 1 plus 5 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. We're going to take our y values, average them, 5 plus negative 4 over 2, 
is 1 over 2. Can you simplify that? No. So our final answer, our midpoint would be 3 and 1 half. Let's make sure that, that this is on the line and it looks like it's in the midpoint of these two endpoints. So one, two, three, half, there you go. It lands on the line, so that's a relief. And let's draw a right triangle. So down one, two, three, four and a half to the right two. One, two, three, four and a half. So one, two, three, four and a half. Right to you. Look at that. So confirm this is the midpoint because these two triangles are congruent. They are, you'd have to travel the same distance from here to here to here, so from here to here to here to get to three and one half. So that's it. That's how you find the midpoints, the middle of a line segment, segment line, line segment. All right, there you go. Have a great day. Bye-bye.